some big trends that are driving a lot of these challenges. Digital traffic. Think about the digital traffic up three times. It's 3x more. So we're seeing digital traffic explode. Internet of Things. 50 billion devices are going to be connected. 50 billion. Huge, huge number. Data sovereignty. Now you think about edge locations being deployed and what's going into edge sites. Well, what's driving some of that? Data sovereignty certainly drives some of the edge, uh, edge uh, applications and the edge locations that we need to deploy because we have to be more uh, willing and understanding of some of the data sovereignty challenges that happen in various countries. And finally, edge computing. 40% of that data is going to be stored, accessed, analyzed, and processed on the edge. So there's four just typical, very major trends that we're being driven by. Recently, uh, we did some analysis with 451 this summer. And one of the quotes that came back from 451 was, if I had a dream, and I think you saw Kevin Brown, if you were in here when he was on stage with, uh, with Ravi Gopinath that Chris Leong was hosting a session, Kevin said, if I had a dream, we'd have the visibility to predict failures before they occur. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, think about the amount of money that you could save and being proactive and predictive, what that really means. So very, very significant. But the real point here is that we don't treat our IT systems the same way that we treat some of our businesses. Think about an aircraft. I had that analysis up here, or, or the analogy I was making with an aircraft. When an aircraft rolls up to the gate, think about the amount of data that's within that aircraft. It does a massive dump of all that data, and we care about what's happening because, of course, we're on those flights, and we don't want anything, to, anything bad to happen when we're flying, right? But we don't necessarily treat our data centers and those data locations with the same amount of scrutiny that we do just basic products within our businesses. So we need to think differently about that. And at the same time, have we really moved and improved our data centers to the right level? You know, have we, have we done that? Have we improved those operations? Data centers are exploding. You know, years ago, when you had that single data center, it was easy, but now we talk about all of the proliferation of edge locations, and you add on top of that hybrid, and you can see some of these statistics that we pulled, that, you know, owning and offer, operating server rooms and server closets, 61%. We own and operate data facilities, 49%. These environments are growing, and as all of these hybrid environments grow, what grows with it? Complexity. Complexity grows with it. Information. As all of these locations grow, there's more information that we have to manage. We have to be able to take that information and make sense of it. We have to be able to have, as Abby said, visibility. We have to be able to see what's going on in these locations. And not only do we have to have visibility, but we have to be able to take that information and make insightful decisions. And finally, as edge computing emerges, data centers, they're becoming increasingly distributed. And we can see what's happening from a distributed perspective. Now we have these local edge, regional edge locations, and that's even driving more data out to those edge locations. So this ecosystem, as it continues to grow, it causes and creates a number of management challenges. The first one is IT performance. There's a higher expectation now than ever that we're going to have secure locations, that it's going to be highly reliable and secure, and that it's going to operate at high speed. Secondly, the complexity of hybrid, you know, public and crowd cloud co-location and on-premise solutions continue to increase. So there's that complexity that's coming up. The third is distributed data centers. Data centers, they're being moved, managed, and the lights out management of these data centers is going to be very, very important for us as we go forward. And finally, limited visibility. As everything grows and this proliferation happens, people can't see what's going on in these remote locations. So visibility is very, very imperative. Visibility equals insights. Insights equal action. Action equal being able to kind of close the loop on what's going on if there's a problem that's identified.